Hello Capricorn, hello and welcome to Window to the Soul and welcome to your Saturn Retrograde bonus reading. This retrograde is in Pisces and it's going to last around four months until roughly November the 4th, on or around, depending on your time zones, of course. Um, this is going to kind of spark us off into what will officially be retrograde season for 2023. Um, so I will be back with a Neptune retrograde reading and Venus is coming in as well. Pluto is already retrograding. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of intense energy is swirling around right now. Saturn in particular um, is energy that encourages us all to slow down. Yeah, we need to slow down a bit. Now Saturn is also, Cap, your ruling planet. So this one is definitely going to have an impact on you. You may find some of this slowing down energy somewhat frustrating. So try where and if you can to sort of roll with it, embrace it. Because it's in Pisces, you might be getting some pretty weird dreams. <laughs> Maybe there's some manifestations of inner work or shadow work coming through in those dreams. So if you have a dream journal, that might be something you want to pay attention to. Or maybe you want to start a dream journal for this four-month period. It would be a really good time to do so. Um, Saturn takes roughly 30 years to full circle through the entire zodiac. Um, so if you are or have turned 30 or 60 or maybe even 90 in 2023, so that means if you're born in 1993, 1963 or 1933, then this particular retrograde is going to present a full circling kind of energy for you, which could present you with life altering decisions, change, opportunity, big shake up energy kind of thing at the ending or the beginning of like a, a serious, serious relationship, a big move, a marriage, a birth of a child, a pregnancy, relocation, changing career, you know, the, the, the big chapter beginning and chapter ending stuff for you. It could be many of those things all rolled into one. This is going to be especially true for Pisces and for the other mutable signs, which obviously you are not, you're a cardinal sign. Um, but just for your information, that is Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarius, and the other one is Virgo. Um, so if you know anybody that falls into that category, or if you are turning 30 or 60 or 90 this year, this is a heads up. The next four months could well be kind of huge um well look at the old reading up in flames already so that is the two of swords a uh, two of swords the two of wands apologies with the ace of wands and the queen of swords in your revisit position that is this is what you're going to be revisiting and it's interesting because we definitely have the energy of looking forward we have the energy of the new here um, so I don't think you are revisiting. I don't think you're looking back. Um, the only energy of what it is you're revisiting is I think you have recently pulled through because you have learned a massively valuable lesson here. Um, so what you're revisiting is the fact that you've learned this lesson and therefore you can direct your gaze firmly forward, firmly towards the future. So despite the fact we're entering retrograde season, and despite the fact that Saturn is your ruling planet, you are not looking back, which is fascinating in energy. Reflection, so what are you reflecting on? We've got the Two of Swords, the Queen of Wands. We've got two queens now. That's beautiful divine feminine energy. The Ten of Pentacles, gorgeous, wow. Ten of Pentacles is Mercury in Virgo. It's um, it's a kind of a happily ever after kind of thing. It definitely speaks of family life and family values and finances, um, protection over those things. We've got this divine feminine energy, this mama bear kind of thing. We do have a choice up here with the Two of Swords. Okay, just quickly, for some of you, you might be pregnant. Um, or you may be getting pregnant, and perhaps that's something. There's, a, there's the energy of burying your head in the sand a little bit there, so it might be like um, 
you suspect you might be pregnant and you're kind of burying your head in the sand there, that is a heads up. That is a warning for maybe just one or two people out there just to be mindful if, if being pregnant is not something that you're aiming for in the next four months, just to be extra vigilant on this occasion, just to be very, very careful with that energy. The reveal position is the death card, Scorpio energy, the hermit card, more Virgo energy, and the five of swords. I'm going to pop these here for the extended reading over on Patreon. This is what we can expect to be revealed on the other side of this retrograde. Your theme for this reading, Capricorn, is a very earthly card. It's the maze. It's a card of captivity. The labyrinth is closely wound with exits glimpsed but seldom found. Okay, so there is the energy here of you feeling or being trapped in something. And we definitely have some themes of family here. There's definitely the energy. It's these two cards here, the Five of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. This is definitely the energy of, you know, we could be talking like, you know, your chosen family. So this could be friends, like friendship groups. But for many of you, this will be blood relatives. Um, for others, the way that this could manifest is in your finances, in monetary concerns. It could be, basically, you're being pulled in a direction that is away from this. So... Either you feel kind of tied down to the home and the family and the daily routine and you kind of want to branch out and go ahead and do something else exciting, interesting, something where your passions line up clearer and you feel held back by your family, potentially, maybe by, you know, your partner or your children or your parents or your friendship group are not really vibing with this new endeavor that you want to go along, or maybe there are people here disapproving, or it could be that finances are preventing you from pushing forward into this new direction that you would like to go in. Perhaps you literally cannot afford to do the thing. Perhaps there's a little bit of juggling here required in terms of figuring out how you can release enough funds or it could be that you need to work to bring home the bacon or the veggie bacon as it was the plant-based bacon as would be the case for me <laughs> um and therefore your time and your energy is wrapped up in working to provide for your family to bring the money home and that is not giving you any time to pursue your passions. There is definitely a passion here that you would like to pursue and something preventing you from pursuing it. There is the energy very much here of you taking care of other people or these queens, this two queens here, the queen of wands and the queen of swords. Now, to be fair, they are both the badass queens. Um, but it is divine feminine energy. It is energy that is present and motherly and um, emotionally stable. I feel right now you are being leaned on kind of heavily and I am sensing degree of dissatisfaction. There could be somebody in particular here that's leaning on you and kind of refusing to see it. Um, like somebody's leaning on you or relying on you, but in the same breath, not necessarily help me out, spirit. Um, recognizing, no, um, acknowledging, acknowledging your worth. Like they're quite happy to take or to accept support, but kind of insinuating that you're not bringing all that much to the table okay that's that's just the way it's coming across for some of you while i look at these cards a little bit deeper and see what patterns we've got let me just talk you through each of the cards the two of ones is um mars and aries i focus on what i want and make it happen 
The Ace of Wands, I am inspired to follow my passion. The Queen of Swords, I protect what matters to me. Two of Swords is the moon in Libra. Whatever I decide, I trust the outcome. The Queen of Wands, I am naturally creative. That's that's the passion. It's here, 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 and here. These three fiery orangey cards over here. This is the passion here. And then this is the the inability to do it and other people getting involved. And this is where you're torn. We do have the death card up here. Let me just, Ten of Pentacles, I celebrate everything I achieve. I've said that's Mercury and Virgo. The death card is a card of the Scorpio and Pluto and fixed water. I let go and embrace new beginnings. There is, I'm almost getting the energy here that perhaps it is worth considering whether you are over giving. I do okay right spirit is spirit is telling me that you need like 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 read a book or listen to a podcast like educate yourself this hermit here definitely striving to learn to improve to gain wisdom here so there's like this this the concept of over giving could be the result of some kind I'm getting all therapy eyes on and I'm trying I try not to do that too much in readings but it is coming through um in terms of psychology the overgiving can be a trauma response to some past wound you've got four months for this retrograde so it could well be that this is essentially something that gets flagged up for you that the whole point of this isn't necessarily the thing you wanted to pursue, the thing you wanted to do, the whole point of this is you recognizing that the reason why you never seem to be able to fully have the time or the energy or the resources to pour into yourself is because kind of standing in your own way, you know, you've got this mantra of telling yourself, oh, but so-and-so needs this and I have to do this and I can't do this before I do that and I may need to make sure basically everybody else's needs are met and then I have no time, energy or resources left for myself. And then, but you're moving into this place where you're starting to get a bit pissed off about that. You're starting to feel resentful and angry about the fact that you have no time left for yourself. But I think one of the conclusions here that you might be reaching is perhaps this is a bit of a self-imposed prison. So I do think for many of you, spending a little bit of time and the thing is i could sit here and and just hand you some of the explanations and the answers to why overgiving is a trauma response but this hermit card absolutely suggests this is your journey and this is something for you to go and learn i follow my own path this is the enlightenment the the, the literal light in this lantern here that the hermit is is seeking um and, and it's for you to do essentially so you know listen to a podcast, watch a YouTube video, uh, read a book, go to a class, whatever it takes, but try and understand yourself a little bit better in terms of over, or at least the potential of overgiving. You know, if the conclusion you arrive at at the end of all of this is, no, I wasn't overgiving, I, I'm just a giving person. But there is a difference between giving and overgiving. And again, look into particularly why that might be a trauma response. And it might just get you to a place where you are understanding yourself a lot better by the end of this Saturn retrograde. Can we get a little affirmation card here? One of these happy cards. Um, let's just access a little bit of inner wisdom for the Capricorn Collective before we head on over to the extended reading where I do feel we need to do a lot more digging here today. Imagination creates experience. Visualize peace. Yeah. Again, it's the way you're perceiving things and something that you need to learn about yourself. I will be back with more readings and I will see some of you over on Patreon in the extended. Take care.